Hey there, this is René Molenaar for GNS 3V and in this video I want to show you how to solve the transparent bridging over frame relay lab. Um, okay, so what do we have? I got router compact and router decrease and those two routers are using frame relay on their uh, serial link. Router jack is connected to compact by using a fast ethernet link and the same thing applies to router Emma which is connected to decrease by using a fast ethernet link. And what I'm going to do is configure um, subnet 192.168.12.0.24 on router Jack and Emma. So that means they will belong to the same subnet. And in order to make this work, I need to configure bridging on router compact and decrease between the frame relay link and the fast ethernet link. So that's what we are going to do here. Um, so let me show you how to do this. Um, <coughs> first of all, let's check if router jack has this IP address, and it does 12.1. Router Emma has 12.2, so that's all good. And let's configure the bridging on router compact. And it seems that my frame relay setup is working. Let's verify it. So I can see encapsulation frame relay here. And I can see encapsulation frame relay over here. Show frame relay PVC will tell us the DLCI number, which is 201 on router decrease. And it's 102 on router compact. Um, okay, so what are we going to do here? Um, let's check the interface. So that's fast ethernet 1 slash 0. I'm going to say bridge group 1. Pick whatever number you like. And I need to do the same thing on the serial link. So bridge group 1. And then I need to, to create a frame relay mapping. So frame relay map, and normally you would use IP, but now we are going to use the bridge keyword. So bridge DLCI 102. And we'll use the broadcast keyword so that we can use broadcast or multicast traffic. All right, so let's do the same thing on the other router bridge group 1 and then frame relay map bridge and this is DLCI 201 broadcast so that's the serial link do the same thing on the fast ethernet link bridge group 1 here we go and let's see if this is already working or not so let's do a ping to 12.2 that's router Emma and it's not working yet so I think I forgot to do this um, bridge I still need to configure the bridge group um, so what I should do is enable you can choose for um, bridge IRB which means you can do routing and bridging at the same time or concurrent so it's either routing or either bridging I'm just gonna use bridge IRB And the same thing on router decrease. See if that makes any difference. Still nothing. And let's see what I still have to do. Um, I might have to enable spanning tree. Bridge protocol 1 IEEE. So this is to enable spanning tree. And still nothing. So let's check some other things. Uh, let's see fast ethernet up up. Serial link up up. We can see it over here. Serial link up. Fast ethernet up. We still got nothing. Show frame relay map. You 
can see that it says bridge DLCI 102. Let's do a show bridge. We can see something is happening. So bridge group one, you can see the serial link, the fast ethernet link. It says forward. And on this side, I don't see anything. Unless I send a ping. Now you can see something. And it seems to be working because I'm getting a response here. And it's working on router jack as well. There we go. And by using the show bridge one command, we can see that it's working. And that's it, I think. So we did the so frame relay encapsulation. We got that. I got the bridge group. I used the IEEE version of spanning tree. We applied the bridge group to the serial link. We can ping each other. And because of the broadcast keyword, we can use multicast and broadcast traffic. So that's it. This is how you can configure transparent bridging over frame relay. Thanks for watching and till next time.